Hello again, I'm Simon and this is an architecture tour of Half-Life 2 and we were just about to walk into this apartment building so um, nothing too special about all of this so far except it's fairly run down as you can see street outside anyway so this is another yeah, this is okay, we'll watch this for a bit. Oh! Yeah, so basically these guys bust into people's homes and, and beat the crap out of them. So this is an apartment building, and I guess people live here. A recycle bin. I wonder if they still recycle. Anyway. Was that you knocking? I didn't even know we still had a door. I didn't know we still had a door. Now that's significant. Because like these people live here, right? And so you know, when you think of a home, a home is supposed to be somewhere secure, somewhere safe, somewhere private. But obviously with those combine guys around, nothing's private and nothing's safe because they just bust open your door. And you know, uh, a home without a door isn't really private and isn't really safe and isn't really secure. So these people live in, you know, constant insecurity and, and they're constantly being invaded. Look, they don't have a door. How can you have a home, you know, w without a door? Imagine if, if you don't have a door in your house and people just walked in and busted the bus, you know, bust their way in all the time. So Oh. I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. One of us, so you know again they're telling you who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. So yeah, this this lack of security and lack of privacy is something that's reinforced here. But the fact that they don't have doors. Uh, do they have a door here? Although this one's really strange. Because this is an apartment building. I mean, I'm guessing these are separate units, although maybe they're not. Anyway, it's very really strange to have a glass door like this in an apartment building. So, yeah. So again, like just just the fact that they don't have a door and the doors that they do have get busted open, again reinforces the idea that you know they're they're being harassed all the time. You know they're just repeating the same theme over and over again. Good guys, bad guys, oppression. Oh, and by the way, it stops you from moving backwards, so you have to move forwards. Now this part, the first time I played to this part, I think this was the first moment when I was sure that Half-Life 2 is going to be a great game. And I'm going to play through it. For you. Yo. Hey you! In here! Head for the roof! There's no time to lose! Here they come! Help! Run for your life! Civil protection! Look at this! So good! Get in here, quick! Keep moving, head for the roof! Get going! That's so good! And then the first time I played through that, I was seriously thinking, oh my god, holy crap, what's going on? I just ran. You know, you just run for it because you're being chased. It's so convincing. Oh, that, that, yeah, seriously, that, that point was the, was when I was sure, when I was first 
certain that this is going to be a great game. So, yeah, anyway. Attic. So now we're somewhere where we're not supposed to be. And we are supposed to run because we're going to get shot at pretty quickly. Again, a hole in the roof. Oh, damn, I'm getting shot. Hole in the roof, so it never rains. If it did rain, you can see it. So, introducing bad guys. Sit oh man, it's a citadel. So now we're on the roof and we can get to see the city. So over there is the city center, I guess. The train station was back that way. Look at those buildings, that looks quite nice. So there are some slightly taller buildings. But obviously they don't compare to the citadel. So there's the older part of the city. That's kind of strange. The fact that they don't build right up to the road. Because it's basically wasted floor space that they could have had. And so over there is the industrial part of the city. And we see that. We'll talk more about that later, but that wall, the combine wall, is also quite interesting. Anyway, let's try not to get shot too much. Uh, yeah, not too much to say. So industrial parts, Pe petrol. So the architectural style has changed, right? So there's historic stuff over there, and then this is all industrial. And that's slightly modern. And then it follows the, the pattern of a real. Where are we going? It kind of follows the pattern of a real city as well. You know, the old city center is just near the middle, and then. A little further out is the newer residential and industrial stuff. So yeah, so now the the building style has changed. We're in an industrial area. Can I get ambushed? Stairs get broken. Okay. Hide in here. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't really matter. No, you don't. And you get introduced to Alex. Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention. You better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Alex is designed to be like Dr. a... Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. And the way she's introduced is quite nice. She rescues you. So it, it emphasizes her, you know, ability and then her... You know, she's not just eye candy or, you know, waiting for you to save her. She's, she's saving you, in fact. So we believe in gender equality over here. Uh, yep, not much more to say about the city. Yeah, right, let's, let's go. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, playing with her words, hair. Aren't you? I saw that. I saw you playing with her hair. Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Introducing characters? Through here. And... This will be at the end of this segment. I uh, just wanna... That apartment segment it really is quite good. Like, it introduces you to... You know, a lot of the themes on, in, in, the, in the game. You know, it shows you what life is like supposedly for the for the people in this city. 
And obviously it's not very good, right? They get harassed all the time and then they get beaten up all the time. This way, Gordon. And it's quite powerful too. You know, it doesn't you know, it it, it shows it to you through in game elements. So, you know, it's not showing you a cutscene, it's not getting someone to talk to you and tell you a story, it's actually just showing you what happens by Come making on, it happen Gordon. in front of you. And then the lack of doors and all that. It's in many in many ways it's very subtle and yet very powerful. You know, I really I really appreciate that stuff. It's good storytelling. Yeah, really. Like when I this first way, played boy. this game, that moment struck me as the the first time that I was sure it's gonna be a great game. And it will end this segment here. And in the next segment, we'll find the secret base for the first time.